this evening raising money for Jeremiah Mitchell. Two different events this afternoon brought out dozens of families, all to help a six-year-old boy who lost his limbs to meningitis. Jeremiah's grandmother flew back from a Cincinnati hospital to pick up supplies and to say thank you. News on 6 reporter Jeffrey Smith has the latest. Well, it's truly been a remarkable turnaround for Jeremiah Mitchell. He's now out of bed, learning how to use his nubs to get around. His hearing is great, his vision is great, and an MRI showed no brain damage. His family says his life is a miracle. It's been quite a, a long Damn, process. Yeah. Gidget Mitchell is showing pictures of her grandson, pictures that show the ravishes of meningitis. In one sense, these people are strangers, but they're also family. Proud to be an Oklahoman, yes it does, it certainly does. It's proud to make me, proud to be from Oolaga Talala, Rogers County. The Oolaga community organized this kid-friendly fundraiser and spaghetti dinner. The money raised will go towards Jeremiah's long-term care when he ultimately returns home. It seems like the small towns, we join in as a big family and help each other. In Tulsa, these guys are organizing a charity shootout at the U.S. Shooting Academy. Participants pay a dollar per target, and the organizers are hoping to raise a thousand bucks. We live in Oklahoma, and it's, it's Oklahoma's nature to be giving. For the last week, Jeremiah's been a little boy once again. His nurse, Eric, wheels him around and supervises as Jeremiah rolls around on gym mats. He can just roll over and roll over and roll over with his little nubs. He just pushes himself around and then you get him in the wheelchair and he don't want to get out. He wants to stay in it and let's just go, go, go. Gidget says last week it was time. She explained to Jeremiah why he no longer had limbs and why he couldn't talk. And his arms were and legs were very, very sick, just like he had been very, very sick. And we couldn't make his arms and legs better, so they had to go away. He cried a lot. We all cried a lot for days, but we're through that now. Jeremiah once again has the energy and the curiosity of a normal six-year-old boy. And seeing this outpouring of support means the world to the Mitchell family. And there was actually no real rush to do the plastic surgery. Doctors in Cincinnati say they want Jeremiah to play and develop and build up his self-confidence for the next few weeks. The reconstructive facial surgery will happen towards the end of the month. Jeffrey Smith, The News on 6.